welcome back to another video on this series in applying to medical school in the UK. This video we're going to talk about interviews and offers. Congratulations! You've sent in your application for medical school and now you can breathe for a bit. Phew! Okay, back to work. Interviews. Don't wait until you receive an interview to start preparing. You should use your time to find out which type of interview your university offers. There are two types. MMI and panel. Panel interviews usually consist of a few interviewers asking you questions about your hobbies, reasons for choosing medicine, work experience, etc. They could ask you ethical questions or ask you about parts of your personal statement. Multiple mini interviews, that's MMI, are set up quite differently. They could be any number of stations that test different skills and qualities. For example, one could be a mini panel interview style station where they ask you questions about your work experience, your personal statement, while the one after that could be a role play that tests your communication skills, and the one after that an ethical dilemma. There's a great video on a medical school website that shows you what to expect in a typical MMI. It's linked below. The structure of both types of interview could vary greatly depending on the medical school in terms of the number of stations, the number of questions asked, the duration, everything. So it's important to find out about the style of interview that the universities you've applied to use and about what they give emphasis on. Usually there'll be a bit of information on their websites. There's a book by, you guessed it, IC Publications that's called Medical School Interviews and it has a lot of helpful information on how to structure your answers and has loads of sample questions and answers. Their website, which I've linked below, also has a long, long list of sample questions. Unfortunately, there are no answers there, but it's a good idea to go through the list just to get an idea of the kind of questions that they ask. Reading the GMC's Good Medical Practice and a document called Tomorrow's Doctors can help you get a better understanding of what's expected of doctors and help you answer the ethical and situational judgment question. The GMC website also has a section called Good Medical Practice in Action, which is a fun way of learning about appropriate behaviour in different difficult situations. Links below. It's also much more fun than reading long documents. Now, interviews can happen any time between November and April, so it's a good idea to start preparing right after you submit your application, even though you wouldn't have received an interview call yet. It's quite a stressful time waiting for interviews. Trust me, I know. Especially when, like, other universities start handing out interviews, and then the ones you've applied to haven't yet, so you're like, what's going on? Oh, I found it helped to keep checking threads on the student room to find out when the universities that I've applied to start handing out interviews. I mean, it just helped my heart jump a little less each time I got a notification. It really helps to do practice questions with an adult, sort of like a mock interview. It's really scary, but the more mock interviews you do, the less daunting the actual interview will be. Just remember to be truthful and be yourself. Because if you've made it this far already, there must be something in you that they think could make a good doctor. So just show them your passion for doing medicine. So that's the interview stage. You give your interview and then you have another way on your hands until you get an offer. Offers to medical school are usually conditional unless you have achieved A-level grades and are usually higher than AAA. For example, if you have two offers, one is A-star AA and one is AAA, you can choose to firm the A-star AA option and ensure the AAA option. So if by any chance you miss your grade, and you achieve AAA, you still have a place at the insured university. You get it? A? Just to know for international students that your condition may also include an IELTS score. That's just an English proficiency test that you don't have to give before you submit your application, but you probably would have to give before you get your results. It's not really difficult or anything, but it's a good idea to book in advance and get it done with when you have the time. And that's it! You have your exams and then results day and you're off to medical school before you know it! Thanks for watching and I hope I could give you a better understanding of the process. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below in the comments and I will try and help you. Alternatively, you can ask them on the student group, which is a good forum where I've heard the people are quite helpful. And if you missed any of the other videos in this series on applying to medical school, click somewhere over here and you can get to them. And good luck for the future! I hope to see you as a medical student in the UK soon. Bye!